My name is Echo, and I had the misfortune of falling in love with a brilliant architect. He had designed and realised buildings that he admired beyond all else, perhaps equally to the admiration of himself. He would sit in his realised buildings for hours, admiring his own work. Admiring his own work. I would see him every day from the window of my office as he designed remarkable buildings from his remarkable buildings from his remarkable buildings from his I would invite him again and again to see my work and designs to see my work and designs but he only ever saw beauty in his own reflection in a changing world of architecture, he only saw his own work as truth. His own work as truth. I loved that man, but he wouldn't listen to me. He was ignorant. I spiralled out of control. I burst into his office. I threatened the downfall of his firm because of his unwillingness to change or listen to others. I snapped. I snapped. I snapped. He was never the same after that. Everything he had achieved was lost. He was shattered from the inside, broken and alone. He closed his office the very next day, never to design again. He had become trapped in his own grief. Trapped in his own grief. I took over the office and saw it as justice at first. How could works like his deserve to stand tall and proud when they were built on selfishness and conceit? But eventually I realised what I had done. The guilt of ruining him ate at me until it corrupted me completely. Corrupted me completely. Corrupted me. But as time passed, I started to think, what kind of a woman still loves a man no matter how badly he treats her? Why would a man want that kind of woman? I never gained his approval, but that man was gone. And no one stood in my way any longer.